Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Reverse Rebirth. Now I'm not sure how many of you uh, watched to the very end of the last part, but we're not quite done with Chain of Memories yet. After you complete the game as Sora, this unlocks Reverse Rebirth, in which you play as Riku in his adventure through Castle Oblivion. Now here's what I really like about Reverse Rebirth. Normally when games unlock this kind of thing in which, um, in which you play as a second character, it's usually playing through the exact same game, just the second character is a bit different. That's not the case here. Riku has a vastly different story than Sora. Alright, so let's start a new game. And he gets his own two, fa two save files as well. Ugh. Where am I? Sleep. Who's there? Sleep, here between light and darkness. Between what? The king. Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness after that. Why can't I remember? Your king is far away. Sleep and leave this war of darkness in his hands. Thorny light will awaken and will, will uh, bring only anguish to one in your state. Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. You talk like I'm some kind of demon of the dark. Can you face the truth? Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety, sleep is eternal. Is this a card? Is a door of truth. Take it and your sleep ends. Take it and take the first step towards the truth. But know this, the truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? There can be no returning to the sweet security um, of sleep. Yeah, well, seems like a boring place to take a nap anyway. Well said, Riku. A door of the truth, huh? And we have our first world, which is Hollow Bastion. It was Traverse Town for Sora, but we're actually going through one of his last worlds in this version. This is Maleficent's castle. How did I end up here? Someone must have brought me here while I was sleeping, but who? What do you see is not real. It's the world of your memory. My memory? The things you remember of Maleficent's castle from your time here. Those memories became a card, and the card made this world. The things you see, you've seen them all before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I supposed to learn something while I'm here? Maybe you are into someone I know? Ordi ordinarily, yes. You would meet the person in your memories. Ordinarily. Hey, I'm asking you a question. Fine. But it better be uh, you I run into across next voice. I'm sick of talking to thin air. Alright. So we get our key to beginnings. I may mention this, but Riku plays very different to Sora. Um, and there are a few major differences we want to keep in mind. First, let's check out his deck. Riku can't build his own deck. He must battle using a closed deck with pre-selected cards. The deck Riku uses changes as he proceeds through the castle. But here's the interesting thing about Riku. His deck is predetermined. He doesn't really have that many... Oh, actually, he only has one attack card. It's uh, the Soul Eater. Riku's strength increased when, what, what, increases while wielding this weapon. He also gets access to a potion, and usually a couple enemy cards. This changes depending on the world you're in. And... I want to say that's like where half the difficulty of Reverse Birth comes from. Oh, he also jumps way higher than Sora for some reason. I don't know why he does. It's just kind of cool. Anyway... He also fights a bit differently, too. 
Oh, but you don't have to worry about the um, the health. I want to say um, a lot of the monsters here have been scaled down a bit. Like, um, these defenders aren't nearly as deadly as they were when you originally fought them in Hollow Bastion as Sora. Alright, you're seeing, like, some new numbers here, too. Like, whenever I break a card, it says, like, card break 2. That'll come into play later. Alright, there we go. Another major difference you might have noticed is that, um, Riku actually doesn't, um... He doesn't have to uh, hold his hand to his heart to actually reload. He can just instantly do it. Quite an interesting change. Quite a nice change, too, actually. Okay, let's start by taking out the Dark Ball. You also don't ever need to worry about enemy cards. Um, I, I mean, like, grinding for them, that is. I mean, you, you still have them. I still recommend you try to use them as best you can. So we gotta level up, too. Wait, did we get two level ups in that one battle? Kind of looks like we did, actually. Um, you want to raise attack whenever you can. Kind of like the Sora Slights, um, the attack boost is something that does not appear every single turn. Let's see, DP will get until later. I just want to increase my health for now. Alright. Now, if you thought that, um, that Riku's story was very abridged as, um... If you thought this game was very abridged as Sora, you haven't seen nothing yet. Riku's story is even more abridged, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I mean, we're already into it. I mean, the game kind of expects that you know what you're doing at this point. Let's use a Feeble Darkness. Alright. I don't think we fought the wizards yet. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's just do this. Oh! Alright, the enemies are weaker now because of, uh, because of the, uh, the field effect. Okay, I'm getting destroyed. Put up Defender real quick. There I go. Protect. Have all physical damage I take. Which is good. Yeah, it's so weird killing defenders with one combo. It seems like Riku runs a little bit faster, too, which is interesting. I don't know. Physically, he's a lot better than, uh... Oh, okay, Tornado Steps. I'm not gonna explain all these enemies. We've actually seen them before. Um, unless you may be watching this before my Chain of Memories playthrough, which I recommend you don't, because, um... Reverse of Birth kind of assumes that you've played Chain of Memories. Or at the very least, are familiar with the story and how it plays. Okay, now we got Wyverns. Oh, and Wizards. Okay, good. So after I take out these two, I would have taken care of every single monster in this world. And another level up. That's good. You want to get as many of those as you can with this character. Let's see. Let's go for DP this time. I might try to alternate. I really don't know what I like to go as as Riku, because you don't really play as him as often as you play as Sora. Anyway, we're going to need a red card to get through. Let's use um, our Looming Darkness. It's like he said everything. Yeah, it's like he said everything's uh, just how I remember it. Even this room. It must be nice to be, yeah, being back in your old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but sorry, but these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. So she did, and you lived here, tempted by the darkness she offered. You cast away your home, your friends, everything. But at least they give you a nice room. Shut up. So yeah, the story moves very fast in Riku's story. Um, I think I might as well talk about this while I'm here. While we're just making our way through the castle. Riku, um... In order to save, um... Or in order to sort of, like, save Kingdom Hearts, or, um, save, um... Save Sora and the others and the rest of the worlds. In the first game, uh, what Riku did is he hid himself behind a door... That was the uh, that was basically the source of all darkness. He locked himself behind it along with King Mickey in order to save Sora. Oh my darkness this early? Wow. Okay. And this is basically the aftermath of that. It takes place immediately afterwards, I think. So yeah, he just like wakes up one day and uh, he gets offered to come to this castle. Alright, I think that's enough enemy cards. Let's just uh, oh not enemy cards. I mean <laughs> uh, map cards. There we go. Okay, two or higher. Um, I'm not going to be as picky with this, too, because I don't think the, the game ever requires too much from you. Let's use our, ling our mingling worlds right away. Riku never gets, like, Moogle points or anything. So, really, the only kinds of rooms you're ever going to uh, get are the ones that, um, that have Heartless in them. 
Except for, I think, the moment's reprieve. Like, uh, what is this one, actually? Let's see if I can find out by, uh, by how powerful these enemies are or, or such. Uh, let's see. It doesn't really seem kind of underwhelming or overwhelming so far. Uh-oh. That didn't do too much damage. There we go. Alright, another feeble darkness. Um, oh, attack. You want to go th for those as often as possible. What room is this, actually? Mingling Worlds. Oh, it doesn't tell you. Huh, never knew that. I usually, I, I'm usually able to assume what kind of world it is, or what kind of a room it is, depending on, like, what's in it. It's certainly easier to do a Sora than Riku, but it's still kind of neat. Oh, by the way, I really like Riku's dodge roll. Whereas Sora has a dodge roll, Riku has this, like, has this, like, backslide looking thing in which he just jumps behind an enemy and then he like faces the enemy which is really cool it's really convenient it makes uh, normal enemies not as big of a, as a problem as they normally would be especially those defenders those things are usually quite a pain not so much of that skill fights usually don't last as long as riku either which is why i'm not really cutting any of the enemies out right now even though we have seen all the encounters yeah, I, I, we're already taking these guys out a lot quicker uh, due to those, like, two attack bonuses I got. Okay. Oh, Blasting Days is good. Alright. Let's go through the door. We need a green card. Uh, we only have one, so I might as well use it. No one here, either. There's nothing but Heartless in this castle. Voice, I know you're watching, so explain this. Where are the people from my memories? Tell me. Are you sure you want to see them? Of course I do. But you cast them aside. To reach the outside world, you pass through the door to darkness. Beyond you, you left family, friends, home, everything, all in pursuit of darkness. But I cast them aside, too. Or that aside. Then what do you have to show for it? First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to throw things away. It's empty, like that room. Like your memories. That's why no one ever, um, no one is in the castle with you. Your heart is hollow except for the darkness you couldn't quite shake off. You're full of it. I rejected the darkness. Did you really now? We get our key of truth. Oh, I'm gonna jump right into that enemy. All right. Um, this is a good opportunity for that. Oh, good. Okay. Right there, we able to like clump up like five of these, just hit him at once. There we go. Lasting days. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm so unsure what kind of room this is. And the mingling worlds can do that sometimes. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's Lasting Days? Um, I'd have to see, like, another, yeah, like, another formation of enemy spawn or check that, but, eh, whatever. Let's just move on. Uh, four or higher. Let's see, that's a six. Six. Actually, let's use Strong Initiative. Yeah. Wait, did I use Strong Initiative? Oh, I meant to use Lasting Days. I want to say those strong initiative cards for later because they uh, they get very useful while grinding. They don't ever need to like the only oh wow see only two wizards and a level up too uh health this time. The only real um thing you ever need to grind for in this game is levels. Riku actually doesn't get any collectibles whatsoever, given that his decks are preset. Okay, these guys are not weakened. Uh, they still shouldn't be that big of a problem. Uh, you're gonna... Yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. Come on, now. Oh. Ah, there we go. I might try to get all of these enemies out of the way first. Just because I really want to get as many map cards as possible. I mean, these encounters are very easy, and they give you a lot of cards, too. You know, I'm not sure if I explained this even in Sora's story, but, um... There's actually a limit to how many map cards you can have. That limit is 99. Once you get 99 map cards, enemies just won't drop them anymore. 
Like, you'll finish a battle, and, and then you'll just get experience instead. I don't even think it makes it more likely for enemy cards to drop. Which is, I guess, is kind of why I didn't really bring it up beforehand. Uh, that and always in games like this, early level ups are always nice to have. Because uh, you guys know my mentality with these kinds of games. I always find the very beginning to be the hardest just because you have so little on you. Not so much of Riku, because honestly, like, you kind of have the same amount of stuff on you at all times, but it still kind of applies. Like, it's just nice to, to not be level 1 when you take on the first boss, if you know what I mean. Which is very easy to do, given how fast these worlds go. I'm going to try to get one more level or until any stops spawning. Actually, I think it's happening now. Okay, let's get a move on. I would like to get one more level, but it should be good. Alright, so five or higher. Yeah, we already have a good slew of, of, uh, of cards we can use. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's use uh, this. Alright, Key of Truth. I knew you'd return, Riku. Maleficent, you're live. You haven't been paying attention. I am but a figment of your of your memory. Of all people I could run into, it had to be you. Who else? Your heart is ste is steep steep yeah, it's steeped in darkness. You can only see power who exists in the same darkness. People like me. No. Be grateful you have someone to keep you company. Your heart is empty. We're um yeah, we're not for darkness in your heart. You will be completely alone. That's sounding pretty good right about now. Come now. You once clung to me um, uh, to sit your hunger for darkness. You want me here? Who else uh, but I can give you the darkness you long for? There was a time I did want you around. I surrounded myself, my uh, heart, heart to the dark. But never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. All I did was lose myself. Empty myself. I'm finished of all that. If I'm stuck seeing uh, people like you, people of the dark, I'll take you out by one by one. And don't forget to take yourself out last, because you, like me, are one of the dark. That's fine with me. I turned to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that weakness. It's like my own enemy. And seeing people like you embrace the darkness just makes it worse. Enough talk, Maleficent. So you hate the darkness enough to fight it? Oh, the agony you must feel. Let me end your pain, Riku. End it forever with the wonder, with the wonder's power of darkness. So we can only see evil people, apparently. Alright. So, she has like half a health bar now. Yeah, because I all of the bosses you fight, or a majority of them, all the Disney World bosses, yeah, I'll say that, all of them are exactly the same. So we still fight Maleficent, um... When we get to other ones, you'll see... I just realized we don't have a zero card in all of Bastion deck. Huh. I don't think I've ever noticed that. And again, this this world is not really that long in this version. Uh-oh. We can still use this, even though I don't really think it'll matter that much. It's gonna go away pretty soon, anyway. I want to say the biggest thing you have to worry about is Riku right now is that, as of now, there's no way to heal with him. I want to say that changes pretty soon, though. Maybe a few hits away. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and pick these up. You can't run to the right here. Huh, I never realized that either. Anyway, we get Dragon Maleficent again. Now, the cool thing about boss cards when you're playing as Riku is that you have them for the whole game. And given that Riku's uh, decks are set, they take up no CP, so you just have them all at all times, which is really cool. Um, let's reuse our our DP. Let's get we'll get we'll get into that mechanic later. So yeah, that was pretty much it. I believe um you still have to physically leave the world as Riku though, which is a little bit unfortunate. Not really too bad though. We'll, we'll just, it's just it's, it's just a couple of rooms away. Yeah, the exit is right there. Let's take out a few more battles while we're here. We'll do one more. Maybe two if I get unlucky, but meh, whatever. What does uh, she do anyway? Overdrive. Oh, oh nice, okay. Actually, I never used Maleficent's card as a Sora. What does it do? 
Sacrifice reload speed to power up attack cards. Oh, that's really means synergy, because we don't have reload speed. So it's pretty much just an attack boost whenever you want it. That's kind of cool. Why do you shun the darkness? Oh, come on. I know you heard every word I said to Maleficent. Darkness is your weapon. You need. I need you to accept it. What do you care? Stop resisting and accept the darkness. You must. If you are to serve me again. It's Ansem. Just as I thought. You don't seem surprised. You always were chatty when it came to darkness. So let me guess. You want me you want to pull me back into the darkness and play Puppet Master again, right? I'm not sure if we've seen this guy yet. This is Ansem. Uh, he's from the first game, he's the main antagonist, and uh, he controlled Riku at one point. Clever boy, you'll make a fine host. Now surrender to me, and... You're insane, they won't be in again. Uh, did you really think you could harm me? A weakling like you couldn't even defeat Sora. And you had the darkness on your side. Excuse me for being weak. You need the darkness. Submit. Bow to darkness and bow to me. Not a chance. Only darkness can help you now. You're wrong. That voice. Your Majesty, is that you? You betcha. Riku, you're not alone. Listen careful now, Riku. The light will never give up on you. You'll always find it, even the de in the deepest darkness, but you have to believe. I will. Hear that? I'm not losing the darkness today, Ansem. You think some feeble light can save you from the darkness I command? Fool. So, here's something else kind of- oh, wait, oh, another boss using that as their first thing. That is so odd. So anyway, another, um, very interesting thing right here. Ansem is the, um, is the main antagonist from the first game, but he's the first boss you fight as Riku. Anyway, we got a new type of card. We got access to the Mickey card. Here's what he does. Oh, okay, I think I should stockpile him a little bit. Uh-oh. There we go. So he spawns in, he heals you, fully reloads your card, and stuns all enemies on the field. Simply put, you're going to be using him a lot, especially since he, he's probably the- I think he's the only friend card you get is Riku. So, yeah. That was Ansem. Let's go for DP again. I think I'm going to try and overdrive on that a little bit. That, that's all you've got? It seems you are intent on resisting the darkness. Very well. See with your own eyes. What are those? They are cards crafted from your memory. Advance through the worlds they, they beget, and you will come to understand. Facing the light will not distance you from the dark. You cannot run. Who's running? Give me the cards. I'll enter those worlds, and in the end, if I haven't given up, I win. I have one more gift for you. What did you do? I tempered the darkness that remains in your heart. What? You still think that I rely on darkness? Whether or not you use it is your choice. I'll be waiting, Riku, for you to come to your senses and yield to the darkness. The darkness in Riku's heart has been fortified. He can now enter dark mode in battle. Riku's dark points, or DP, will fill as he takes damage or break opponent's cards. When the DP displayed, be yeah, when the DP displayed below Riku's health gauge uh, reaches a certain level, Riku will transform and enter dark mode. Riku can only use slights while in dark mode. Losing a card break or taking damage will deplete dark mode. And when Riku's uh, DP reaches zero, he will return to normal. Riku can increase his maximum DP upon leveling up. That's what I've been doing. With higher DP, Riku can stay in dark mo mode for a longer period of time. So that's what I was doing. So that's basically the main gimmick is Riku. Pretty cool, actually. It's a, it's a very fun mechanic. And we have a new character. Oh, two new characters. Don't even get a hello, Lexius. 
What's going on, Zexion? I demand explanation. Nice to see you too, Vexen. You know, it's deplorable. The organization used to be the ropes that bind us. And now it's full of kinks. How dare you? Let it go, Vexen. Zexion, tell us, what did you detect? Visitors, I pick up two cents in the castle's lowest basement. One of them was, was Maleficent, but... Absurd, the witch is gone. She cannot return from the realm of darkness of, uh, of her own volition. If you'd let me finish. The scent belonged to a very convincing double. But I can't say much beyond that, since that would, uh, that would be, um, Maleficent is no more. Our other visitor saw to that. Who is it? I don't know. But the sound was very similar to the superiors. Exactly similar, if I may say. Rubbish. Fact, Vexen. Now what shall we do? Let us bide our time and see what develops. Something tastes kind of funny. What is it? It's so familiar. Darkness. The taste of darkness. What's happened to me? The darkness even seeps into my senses. Don't you worry, Riku. Your Majesty! What happened to you? You're all fuzzy. I can only send a little bit of my power here, but I have but I have a request. A request from your majesty? Riku, don't let go of yourself just because darkness has, has a hold of you. Fight the darkness inside of you. It won't be easy. But don't forget, even in the, even in the darkest darkness, there's always a little light. Light within darkness? You and I have seen it. The far off welcoming light inside the door of darkness. The light of Kingdom Hearts, Riku. It'll show you the way. Please don't give up. Believe in the light. That's all I ask. Okay, I'll try my best. Now I'll try to find a way to reach you. I'll come, I promise. You're an illusion. My hand passes right through you. But we shook hands in our hearts. We're connected, you and me. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. By the way, that's at Basement 11. Here's the other cool thing that I really like about Riku's story. You go up from the basement. Like, you start in Basement 12 and you work your way up. That is so neat. <laughs> anyway, we got our first world done. I think next time we'll go see what these cards hold. So there we go. Thanks for watching.